Okay, I've got something to share. Um, basically, every time you see somebody recommend settings for OBS, whatever it is, for recording, for live streaming, whatever, every single one of them tell you something different. But they don't tell you necessarily what specification they have. That They just talk about low-end or high-end. Uh, so spec individually on my on system that I'm using this on first of all is very somewhat low end although it's 16 gigabyte with an i7 you think oh well, that's reasonable there's no dedicated there's no dedicated graphics card so that's going to bottleneck things a bit um so there's an older laptop, I want to keep it around, I don't want to swap it for anything, and certainly money would be a problem with that. Um, I put work into modernising this as well, I brought the hard drive to an SSD, took it to 16 gigabyte, took the mobile phone chip out, and put in place of that a MSATA drive. Um, change the screen to sixteen to put sixteen gigabyte in. So, you know, it's, there's a number of things that's made it viable. I think to keep around, and it's portable and it's flat, it's sturdy, if you will. Um, as a laptops go, modern day laptops, you buy them, you frighten to take them with you really I am yeah, because they're too flimsy too delicate or well, we know who to blame for fashionable fashionable laptops right uh, so I'm going to so with that in mind 16 gigabyte i7 no dedicated graphics card SSD um, running a small a somewhat average spare screen as well which is going to take up more processing on the processor all the graphics are really on the i7 because no because of no dedicated graphics card right so the spec in the obs settings what i've done is 1360 times 768 base canvas and the same for the resolution uh Using the LAN, LAN COS, how, how do you explain it? How do you, the, the sharp scaling 36 samples, I've forgotten exactly how you pronounce it, um, in the downscale. Frames per second, 29.97. Because this was a breakthrough for me finally getting rid of lag in my recordings as well um, custom output ffmpeg output to file container mp4 container format mp4 video, video bit rate 2350 so it's 2350 kbs it's kilobytes per second keyframe intervals 250 and your audio 160 kilobytes uh, kbps um just just leave the audio as it is i would but uh acc audio encoder if you really needed to i don't think any differences on that would take too much processing away but there's, you know, it's worth mentioning, I guess. So I, I had some settings before that maybe they were similar or the same. Couldn't remember. But I cracked it then where I got rid of this jerkiness in the um, recording frame rate. What you're seeing behind is my website, by the way, as you can see, exploratingminds.com. Uh, I'm going to put this on EM Network anyway, so you see this on YouTube. Um, cracked it, 
So if you do crack it, write it down, put it on a board or something or other. Because, uh, you know, the, the resolution as well, the camera, let me see what I got. Um, just going to check the camera. Resolution. I think I got it at 9.6. I say I think because it doesn't show you when you're recording. Uh, it doesn't it just gives you this leave unchanged option, or, or at least on mine. It's in 960 or 720. It's high definition, but the. You know, just play with that anyway yourself. Bring, and if you've got a decent camera as well, there won't be any too much bottleneck in in theory. Uh, cameras like this do a lot of processing itself, but it still needs to be processed, I guess. Why was it sent to the computer? So I don't know. It's never that clear cut, is it? Um, some things are a bit ambiguous to me. And OBS is not really intuitive when it comes to some of the settings. So I stumbled across this. Uh, no frames being dropped at all. If I went to view. If you go to view on OBS then click stats. That's the top menu. View then stats. I have uh, average time to render frame 18.2 milliseconds uh, this frames missed but I've let me reset that at the moment okay one frame missed well after reset the older setting would by now would be like five ten frames 18 There will be some lag because there's quite a few tabs and things I've got open. So you might see some jerkiness. But with all that closed and those settings with that spec, I'd normally have a very, very smooth transition, not using any frames as long as I got like my browsers shut down or only one tab open. Well, I've only open things that I need to open anyway. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll look forward to doing another video soon. I hope this can help people, because I couldn't find any decent straight answer. You know, people were always saying, oh, i got a low-spec, 4A low-spec machine. But what is the specifics? Even now, 16 gigabytes to some hardcore heavy users might even be low-spec to them. That's what they would personally call low-spec. Um, but 16 gigabyte to me is like, you know, he, it's more than enough, um, unless I'm doing high resolution gaming and recording that, uh, even then 16 should be enough, but you know, they weren't being specific was the point on the specifications. So peace out, take care, and I'll look forward to doing the next video. Cheers. Bye.